Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. The dates that we are going to cover in this video will range from the 15th of May up until the 21st and we'll have a look at any of the games that have released without being in one of these videos before for whatever reason beforehand if there are any this time round. So what games are coming out this week? Well, let's find out. Just one game already out this time round then, this is Calculator. This tells the tale of Rex Stryker, a man intent on revenge after gangsters kill his pet canary. Now, I'm winding you up, it is literally a calculator. And a calculator that's selling for £8 no less. To be fair, it is a scientific calculator if that makes your purchase any more reasonable. And it has a clear, easy to read, multi-line display. <laughs> It's a calculator, it costs eight quid. What on earth is going on? Right, let's move on to this week's games. Right, all jokes aside then, the first up this week we have Arkea. This is a rhythm game which I believe is available on iOS. This Switch version includes two play types, the traditional touchscreen version and a new one that utilizes the Joy-Cons. It includes over 150 songs from 90 different artists in a multitude of electronic genres. There is a new song pack for this particular version which contains 5 songs and a new storyline. It has a revamped progression system for unlocking new songs and a new look with updated illustrations. It's selling for £34.99 or your regional equivalent and it comes out on the 17th. Then on the 18th you have SnowRunner, which is a vehicle simulation game set in extreme open world environments. This is published by Focus Home Interactive who also brought MudRunner American Wilds to the Switch. This one sees you able to drive 40 vehicles from known brands such as Ford, Chevrolet and Freightliner as you attempt to overcome mud, torrential waters and frozen lakes, all the while taking on perilous contracts and missions. As well as a single player mode, you can also play with up to 4 players in local co-op and this game will sell for £35.99 or your regional equivalent. Then we have Leisure Suit Larry Wet Dreams Die Twice. The Leisure Suit Larry series has been going since Land of the Lounge Lizards in 1987 and these were originally published by Sierra although the license has changed hands a few times since then. This new entry is a direct sequel to the previous game which is also on the Switch, Wet Dreams Don't Dry and features characters from that game plus new ones introduced for this sequel. This is selling for £40.49 which is more than the previous game and is a pretty eye-watering price to be perfectly honest although it does look as if it's getting a physical copy too. Two. Now the physical version of that first game is actually very hard to find these days, even more so for a good price, and I wonder if this game will follow suit in that respect. That always happened to me when I tried to get close to women. The inflatable guy's valve fits right in the hole. Next we have Jetboard Joust which describes itself as a fast and furious arcade style shoot 'em up. It says that it blends the spirit and intensity of 80s arcade shoot 'em ups with the replayability and tactical elements of hardcore modern roguelites. With over 50 different enemies, over 30 weapons, huge multi-stage boss encounters in which you will steal their weapons to use for yourself, and 5 different planets for you to set your own course through, discovering hidden treasures, upgrades and weapons along the way. It's selling for what sounds like a pretty decent price of £7.99 and comes out on the 18th. Then you have Outbreak Endless Nightmares. Now there are a host of these Outbreak games on the Switch, about six including this one, and this one promises a co-op survival roguelike experience. It says the focus is on extreme replayability by way of multiple character options, new abilities and upgrades. You'll be hunting for supplies and fighting your way through semi-procedurally generated environments with a hub area to sort your inventory, etc. It sounds a little bit as if this Outbreak game is similar to Resident Evil Revelation 2's Raid Mode. I might be wrong there, but that's where this blurb is leading me at least. The Resi games go on sale quite often on the eShop though, and with that in mind, to be honest, I know what I'd rather be buying. Blech. 
Next you have Aerial Knights Never Yield which sells for £11.99 and also has a demo that you can download. This game was announced at the Indie World presentation a few weeks back and is a 3D runner set in a futuristic Tokyo style Detroit. Playing like an endless runner, you'll be running, dashing and sliding, performing acrobatic variants and combinations to avoid the hazards and obstacles and it says here that it's been built with both speedrunners and casual gamers in mind. The soundtrack was provided by Detroit artist Danime Sama and the game is due to release on the 19th. Next is Clannad's Side Stories. Now Clannad is a highly regarded visual novel and is itself available on the Switch. This new entry is a collection of 16 side stories penned by the scenario writers of that original game. The episodes are set both before and after the events of the original. I myself like my visual novels to have more of a horror theme to them, but I know that many people consider it to be one of the best visual novels ever created and it has a large following of diehard fans. This entry, if you are interested, is selling for £35.99 and it comes out on the 20th. Then we have Rise of the Slime which will sell for £12.99 and is another game that has a demo. It says that this is a roguelike like no other. Help Slime defy the odds by playing insanely powerful cards in this deck building game but with the chill vibes of a side scrolling adventure so says the blurb. It features more than 100 cards, a constantly shifting path that could bring either good luck or bad turns, a number of formidable enemies and a host of environments ranging from marshy swamplands, lakes of fire and mystical gardens. It promises that the numerous gameplay mutators, shifting routes and countless deck variations mean that no playthrough will ever be the same. This could be a decent pickup for fans of deck builders and it's always a smart move to include a demo especially for more niche games and if it does interest you it's also out on the 20th. Then you have Kowloon High School Chronicle. This is a HD remaster of a 2001 PlayStation 2 game and as far as I understand is a bit of a hybrid of a visual novel, a first person dungeon crawler and turn based RPG. You are part of a society of treasure hunters with your latest mission taking place at Kamiyoshi High School. You must team up with your classmates to unlock the school's mysteries. You interact with your classmates with the choices you make, building the relationships that you have and then after dark you will be exploring the ruins beneath the school, fighting monstrous enemies and hunting treasure. All sounds very intriguing and I must admit I'd never even heard of the original, let alone played it. If anyone did then please feel free to tell us a bit about it in the comments section. It's another game that's out on the 20th and this one has 10% off of its price of £24.99 up until launch. Next we have Rising Hell which calls itself a heavy metal roguelite. It's a vertical platformer and tasks you with climbing out of the ever changing hell whilst fighting off hordes of blood lusting demons. You'll be unlocking new talents and characters as you make progress through the randomly generated levels and there are boss battles to partake in too. It's selling for just £7.99 with 10% off of that price up until just before launch and there is a demo that you can try if you are unsure. Now we do have a code for this game and whilst I'm not sure if we'll have time to do a full review, it may go into a multi review or buy and avoid video, but having played some of it already what I can tell you is the combat is incredibly fluid, the controls are responsive and it's definitely a very satisfying experience, especially for that price that they are asking. It gets the roguelite side of things just right and even if we don't get around to reviewing it I will tell you now that this is a game I'm very much enjoying. Then a game that popped up quite late in me planning for this video, this is Layers of Fear 2. Now Layers of Fear was a first person psychological horror game set in the large home of an artist. From what I heard that first game divided opinion with some people thinking it was too slow paced, but I have to say I thought it was fantastic and did what it intended to do very well. It was a bit too heavy on the jump scares to be perfectly honest, 
but I still felt incredibly uncomfortable whilst playing it and for me that's exactly what I want a horror game to do. This sequel sees you playing as a Hollywood actor and is set aboard an ocean liner. It's selling for £26.99 although there is 10% off of that price up until the 31st of May and there is an offer on the eShop to get 20% off, I'm not sure if that stacks, probably not, if you own one of Bloober Team's other games. Be sure to check out the eShop for full details. And finally for this week then we have Metopia. Now Metopia is a game that was originally on the 3DS. I went to an event in London many years ago now called Hyper Japan and Nintendo actually had a shop there and they were doing a deal where if you showed that you had your 3DS with you that day, which I did, you could get Metopia for a knockdown price. It had only just come out so you were getting it for really cheap and I did pick it up but only played it for about an hour, I never really got very far into it. It's a quirky quest where you can use your Miis to fulfil the roles in the story as you attempt to vanquish the Dark Lord. No, not that one. Well, I suppose it could be him if you create a me. that's kind of the whole point. It's selling for £39.99 which is cheaper than Nintendo's normal pricing and it does have a demo available if you want to see what it's all about. Allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship's sour though, things might take a turn for the worse. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. I just want to quickly add that Shin Megami Tensei 3 does technically come out this week. The digital deluxe version, which has some extra bits and bobs included, comes out on the 21st. It's a move that Sega pulled with Persona 5 Strikers 2, but the standard version comes out next week on the 25th, so I'm going to include it in next week's video and look at it properly when it's available for a standard price. Apologies for any background noise you can hear in this video. We have some roadworks going on through the night where we live, and the nighttime is the only time I can record videos at the moment, so unfortunately I've been fighting against the noise. I feel like I'm going crazy to be honest with you, but there we go. Hopefully I've been able to do something with it whilst editing to clean it up a bit. But if not, then as I say, I do apologise. It's affected me a lot more than it's affected you, I can assure you. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, stay safe of course, and until next time, happy gaming.